A Spokane man has pulled thousands of pounds of metal out of the Spokane River in the past year. All it takes is a magnet and a long rope. Now one local man hopes his unique cleanup technique will catch on so Spokane can catch up with river cleanup. KXLY 4's Ariana Lake has the story you'll only see on KXLY 4 News. Reminders of Spokane's history are all around us, most notably the clock tower in Riverfront Park. Just feet away from that, a Spokane man is reclaiming some of Spokane's history that was lost in the river for years. Firearms, uh, jewelry boxes, nails from 59, um, just amazing stuff. For Paul Swanson, the catch of the day is different every day. There we go. Here's what he's reeling in. And this is exactly why we're doing what we're doing. Swanson has been casting a magnet attached to a rope into the Spokane River for about a year. And introduced Spokane to it. He found out about magnet fishing online as multiple sclerosis started to steal part of his body away from him. He couldn't fish with bait and a hook anymore, but a magnet does the job just fine. Time that we pay attention to the river, and it's, it's fun. You can find things. It's a treasure hunt each and every time. He's filled a small workshop with all of his finds. It was a novelty item. Some of the unique pieces, like a sword from Expo 74, and this wagon wheel are destined yeah. to become art. Absolutely. One man's junk is definitely another man's treasure. The rest goes to Pacific Steel for recycling. In just three months, um, I pulled out 1,550 pounds total that I recycled. He donated the money he got from recycling that metal to Toys for Tots. Now he has a bigger goal. We're going to see if we can get 5,000 pounds this year. He wants to donate the money he gets recycling that to the nonprofit called Gabe Tough. It's a new organization that helps families with autistic children. Swanson started it, named in honor of his five year old son who has autism. The rewards are endless. I mean, I've, it's fun. For all those reasons, Swanson is hooked and dreams of a day when more people start fishing for the future. We can change everything. We have a chance to fix it. Um, we have a chance to get stuff out to really make our waterways what we're after. Reporting in Spokane, I'm Ariana Lake, KXLY4 News. Well, the magnets Swanson uses are from Brute Magnetics, and they sell starter kits for about $80. We have a link to learn more at KXLY.com.